we got the old doll head with the black eyes there with the dirt. Man, that's creepy. Yeah. All right, guys. Within the first five minutes, had a high tone. And we've got a small scent. It's going to be a Lincoln Weedy. Not sure if I'll get a date on that right now. Uh, it looks like it's pretty roached, but I'll try to pull a date off of it. That'll help us determine approximate age here. Bring you right back. All right, y'all. Our Weedy is a 1926 Philadelphia. That's a great sign. Especially five minutes into it, we're going to keep going. All right, y'all, you guessed it, yet another Weedy, only this one is a 1912 from Philadelphia. I know I need that one in my Doug Weedy album. Boomski! All right, y'all, taking a little break from digging wheat pennies, and uh, we got a cool old key there. Looks like it says Herd, H-U-R-D. Uh, pretty cool old key. Never found one like that, and uh, like it, we're going to keep going. All right, guys, got a high tone here. Brushed the uh, leaves away, and here's our find right on the surface. All right. What the heck? Hot Wheels. It can't be that old. Hong Kong. <laughs> Not even sure what car that is. Well, that's pretty cool. Kind of looks like an old Ford. All right, y'all. Outside the woods here by this other home site in the grass just had a deep 1213 and Wow check that spoon out out here by the well Look at the fancy on that Silver plate of course, but wow nice Sweet That right, y'all was getting a mid-tone and I'll pop this which I think it's going to be an old lantern top, but man, it's flimsy. Boy, it's old and flimsy. It's going to come right apart. I'm just going to leave it like that because that's as good as she's going to get. But that's a pretty cool old find. Come out with that ring and everything. Okay, we're going to keep hunting. All right, guys, I just flipped out a high tone. I don't know if it's a coin or a button. So I haven't touched it yet. Looks like it's going to be a coin. Or a token. Oh, it's a Lincoln penny. How about that? Let's see if we can get a date. It's greened up. Well, I was thinking that could have been a button. Let's do a pants rub here. See if we got a weedy first. Can't see the date. It's a weedy. Let me get this tooth picked. I'll bring you right back in. All right, y'all. We have a 1911 from Philadelphia. 113-year-old penny. Looks like I scuffed the back of it there digging. Daggum it. Alrighty. We'll keep hunting though. Okay guys, I just dug a 1213 and got this. This little pin swivels and it looks like there's texture or feathers on here. I don't know what this thing is. It kind of spins around. Looks like it has a tab right there that put it together. So uh, if you know what that is, please leave a comment. It's pretty wild. All right, guys, I was getting a 20, 21, and dug through and busted up some roots, and I'm starting to see something. I haven't pulled it out yet. Let's see what we've got. Oh, boy. That's an old buckle. 
Wow, that is cool. I've never found one quite like that. That's kind of square looking. Still has the iron tongue on it there. Wow. Now that's a pretty cool old buckle. I don't know if that's called a D buckle or a, has another nomenclature, but that's about awesome. Late 1800s, early 1900s is this home site, so don't know if that was from then or maybe newer. We'll keep going. All right, guys, was getting another high tone out here by the driveway. Looks like we're gonna have a buckle. Definitely has some iron there. Stuck, oh, that's the tongue slid over. I'll be darned. Old green brass buckle. Square shape. That's pretty cool. All right, y'all, over here by this well, we just had a high tone on surface. Check it out. It's a stopper for a hot water bottle. That one's in awesome shape. Cool. Good spot. We're going to keep hunting. All right, y'all. I was getting a tone in here. Let's check it out. I don't know what the tone or the signal is, but we got the old doll head with the black eyes there with the dirt. Man, that's creepy. Uh, Gene from We Dig It, I'm in your club now, I think. Anyway, I'm going to go after this target. All right, y'all. I've got the target out that was in the doll head hole. Check this out. Oh, man, that is an awesome relic. Sweet. Discussion. Nice big heavy duty brass one. Love it. Whoop. This is going to be a good little spot. There used to be a hotel here. Then a house later. The hotel was 1800s. Hard telling what we'll find. We're going to keep going. guys was getting a high tone in iron and I think we've got an old lock what's left of it looking like it a bunch of iron rusted up there on that end and this side but see if we can find a keyhole oh yeah but there we go see if we got any name on this I'm starting to see something Got a little road noise here today. I see a P and an R. Well, we've got the old lock. Pretty rough shape, but good sign, and we're going to keep hunting. All right, guys, just had a real shallow high tone, but we're going to have the uh, oil lamp base. See if we, looks like there's writing on there. I'll get that cleaned up, see if we can read it. Another old item, and we're going to keep going. All right, y'all, I was getting a deep high tone. We got the wheat penny. So I'm gonna have a 1919 Philadelphia. All right, y'all, had a nice high tone and dug up the old gear. Looks like it has a square drive in the middle. Pretty coarse teeth on it. Pretty thick, really. Uh, maybe a clock gear, I don't know. Too thick for a pocket watch, I think. Anyway, we're gonna keep hunting. All right, guys, had a high tone here in the low 20s just flip this out I believe we're gonna have a ring how about that I don't think it's gonna be super old not sure if it's gonna have any writing in it don't think it's precious but uh, still pretty cool find anyway awesome we'll keep hunting All right, guys was getting a high tone check it out we got the little bitty old spoon down there not sure if that's gonna be a play spoon, probably. Yeah, I bet. Not a measuring spoon. Child's play spoon. Let's see if we got anything on the back. Nope. Just have an old play set. Old tea set for a little girl, probably. We're gonna keep hunting. All right, guys, fought these roots down here and ended up getting a tube out of there. It's gonna be dental cream. Uh, 
I think that was toothpaste. I'm not for sure, but probably 1940s, 30s. Anyway, we'll keep hunting. All right, guys, was getting a high tone. That's going to be our target. We're going to have an old tag, probably a dog tag, dog tax. All right. I love finding these. See if we can get a year off of it. Indiana dog tax, 1958. Cool. We'll keep hunting. All right, guys, check it out. I think that's got an eagle on it. Um, I think this is off a handsaw. Uh, the rivet that helps hold the saw blade onto the handsaw, the handle. So I have to research that. I can see there's letters on it overcast and I can't really tell what it says something superior with an eagle on it anyway that's a nice high tone nice little find <laughs> Just had a high tone, dug up a 1956 Denver wheat scent. We'll keep going. <laughs> All right, guys, another high tone. You guessed it, another weedy. And this one's a 1919, and I think it's got an S, mint mark. So that's cool. I know I need that in my Doug Weedy album. What a coin day. We're going to keep going. All right, y'all. Found this on the surface. Got the old doorknob. Boy, that thing is far from good now. Anyway, surface find, doorknob. All right, guys, he's getting a high tone like a silver quarter, but it's not a silver quarter, but it is kind of cool. Get it cleaned up here. Check it out. Indiana Department of Conservation 393 resident dip net or fike net year 1950 some kind of a uh, fishing permit we are about a half mile from the river here so that's a pretty cool find <laughs> All right, y'all, under that brute, we had another tag here. I'm going to have to work on it and clean it up a little bit. It does have uh, writing on it, so I'll bring you right back in, and we'll find out what this is. All right, guys, this is just like the other one, only older. Indiana Department of Conservation, dip net or fike net. Uh, 1948 and it even has the price up here a dollar ten cents cool mm -hmm. 